life is holistic. Life is not just a one-sided affair. There are many hats we have to wear in, in life. There are many ways we have to live our lives, many spheres where we spend our lives and live our lives. I know most of you have heard this saying that health is wealth. It's so true that health is wealth. Can I also add that your life is your health and health is life and life is health. When I talk about health, I'm not just talking about it from a medical point of view. My definition of health in a simple way is health is a condition where your mind, your body, your soul are in a state of calmness, peace, functioning in your proper order. You know, health is all about when your body is functioning the way it's supposed to, to, to provide nourishment and enrichment of your life. Health is just about the quality of your living. So life is health. And we can also talk about health in terms of these categories of life. Most times, we don't see it that way. But I want to encourage you to see life as health. Life is health and health is life. When you see life as health and health is life, you'll be able to apply it in all of these categories I'm going to mention of life. Your financial health your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your family social health, your professional career business health. Health in these areas, I'm talking about the quality of your life in your finances, the condition of your mental state, the condition of your social family life, the condition of your educational, professional state, the condition of your emotional state. Is it in good health or is it in bad health? That is why I started off by saying that health is wealth because we pursue wealth money we assume money to be the only source of wealth but when you have health you have wealth people have so much money and in material possessions but they don't have a good physical health mentally they're not stable family is is ruined is dysfunctional that is why life is all about your health in these categories i have previously mentioned and life is wealth. Wealth in a sense of the quality of your life, the enrichment of your life, the nourishment of your life, the flourishment of your life, the advancement and progress, the betterment of your life. Most times I have realized that life is lived in, a, in an intangible way. In an intangible way, you can have a good quality life. What do I mean by living life in an intangible way? Intangible in a sense that things that money cannot buy, like peace, like joy, like contentment, these are things that are part of your health, of your life. When you have peace, you are in good health. When you are content, you are in good health. When you have joy, you are in good health. When you're laughing, you are in good health. When you're smiling, you're in good health. 
Health is not just you taking medications. When your body is in, is, is, when you're exercising, you're in good health. When you're reading, trying to develop your mind, you're in good health. And another category of your life that I did not mention that is so vital is your spiritual health, foundation for everything, which entails your spiritual man and your soul man, which affects every other area of your life, which also encompasses your moral health, your character, your virtues and values in life. If you don't have a relationship with God, you cannot be at peace with yourself and at peace with others. So focus on making sure that your spiritual health is in good condition. Life is not just about material gains. If you want to live life in a quality state, you have to try to 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 acquire the intangible things of life that money cannot buy. Joy, peace, contentment, and all of these qualities are a matter of your character, who you are as a person. But most times we focus on, if I do this, I will be happy. If I do this, I will have joy. If I do this, I will have peace. We have to think about who we are in the inside. Examine the state of your relational health. Are you in a good relationship with people? Examine the health of your relationship. Examine the health of, of your finances, your financial health. Do you have enough to sustain a lifestyle that you desire for yourself? Do you have enough to sustain a family responsibility? Your career health, are you happy in your job? Do you find fulfillment and meaning in what you're doing? Life is health and health is life and health is wealth. If you want to be a wealthy person, pursue health. If you want to live a good quality of life, pursue health in all of these categories. I'm going to mention them again. Your spiritual health, your financial health, your, your emotional health, your mental health, your physical health, your social, relational, family health, your professional, uh, business health. These are areas in our life that are part of who we are, that are part of our existence. You need money. You need to work. You need to socialize with people. You are a spiritual person. And you need to have access to divinity. You're a physical man. You have a physical body. And you need to take care of your body. Your mental state. How you think. The condition of your mindset. Your emotional. Your feelings. Consider all these factors of life. See health in them. And see how you can improve your health in these areas of your life. God bless you. Thank you.